What's up guys, welcome back to Goshen's Games, welcome back to another card analysis on the Dragon Ball Super card game. Uh, this is the series where we take the cards and we actually analyze them to, in order to help you build a better deck and to find out which cards you should be looking for and which cards you sh that you could pretty much just skip over and ignore. Um, today we are looking at the Repeated Force Vegito cards, both in the Super Rare variant and the special rare variant. Um, if you are new to the card game, you don't know the difference between the super rare and the special rare. The only difference is the card art and the value. Okay. Uh, usually, the special rare variants are double the price of the super rare. In this case, though, it is astronomically higher. Um, you know, just to give you a value from the time of this video. The repeated force Vegito card, this one right here, is anywhere between. Uh, ten to fifteen dollars on on places like eBay, uh, where Repeated Force Vegito, the special rare variant, is actually a lot higher, going anywhere between thirty-five to sixty dollars, depending on the market right now. So, <clears throat> so keep that in mind when you're searching for these cards. Um, you know, the special rares are beautiful cards to look at. Don't get me wrong, absolutely gorgeous. Um, if you're looking to complete your collection, then by all means, go ahead if you can't seem to pull it in a booster pack. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the super rare variant um, to go ahead through the through the cost. Or not the cost, I'm sorry, to go through the uh, the card analysis. So if you want to play this card, this I should warn you that this is a very end game card. Um, and not specifically just for the energy cost, although the energy cost is a clear indication of it being an end game card. So you got a seven energy cost, and then one of those energies must be a red energy. Um, it's got a combo power of 10,000, and it costs one colorless energy in order to use him uh, to combo with him. His power is 25,000, which is not, it's not that high. I mean, it's still high, but it's not like, you know, one of the highest because uh, the Super Saiyan Blue Vegito card is forty thousand. The Cell card is thirty thousand. But twenty-five thousand, and it, it's not bad for the type of card that this is. And I'll explain why in a minute. Um, so just a little closer look at the card, so you guys can see it. It's actually a really good-looking card. Um, all right, so let's look at the abilities here. Union Potara. That is basically the evolving uh, or the evolving process of this card. Uh, in order to evolve it, you need five a colorless energy, so it costs um, two less than uh, than it does if you're going to play the card straight up. Uh, you have to place it, so you, if you have to have a Goku and a Vegeta card in play uh, in order to in order to use this card and you know evolve the Goku and Vegeta into the into the Vegito card. Uh, so you place this card in active mode on top of the two specified cards. So you would take the two cards, stack them together. And then you'd put the Vegito card on top of both of them. Um, that's how you that's how you evolve into Vegito here. Uh, once you do, he then gets Triple Strike, which is fantastic. That is a very fantastic ability, very uh, very useful to end your opponent's life quickly. Uh, triple Strike inflicts three damage instead of one when attacking. So if you get a successful attack on your opponent's leader card, then you're going to be doing three damage to their life deck. Uh, instead of the one damage, so you can end them very quickly. Uh, his auto ability, which is actually a very, very good auto ability, and this is why I said it's a very late game card, um, and you know it's a it's to balance out for the fact that his power is twenty five thousand. Uh, his auto ability, when this card attacks, this card gains five thousand power for each Goku and Vegeta in your drop area for the duration of the turn. So for every Goku and Vegeta card you have in your discard pile, this card gains five thousand power. That is tremendous. So say if you have ten Vegeta, like ten cards in your discard pile that are Goku and Vegeta mix, so then this card would gain 50,000 power added on to the 25,000 power that he already has, making him one of the heaviest hitters in the game uh, if you can pull it off. Okay, that is like, a, you know, that's why I said this is a very end game card. Okay, um, very good card. Very, very good card. I actually use this card in my Vegito deck. Um, there are cards that allow you to pull this card from your life deck, uh, which helps tremendously. So um, there's a there's a Vegito card 
that uh, that actually allows you to search your deck for a Vegito card with 25,000 power or less. And that is specifically for this card right here. Um, so we'll go ahead and I'm going to put this down so that way I can show off the special rare variant for you guys one more time. Uh, like I said, it's a very beautiful card. Um, you know, if you're looking to complete your collection, then by all means, I, I, I would say go ahead and, you know, buy it or keep searching for it. Um, but yeah, so with that, I appreciate you guys watching the video. Let me know if this is helpful to you guys analyzing the cards. Um, if it is, I will keep doing them. And um, yeah, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you're new. And remember about my Dragon Ball Super Card Game giveaway, which is down in the description below. And that is a monthly giveaway for my subscribers. And I will catch you all later. Thank you very much once again. You guys have a great rest of your day, night, whatever time zone you're at. Peace out, guys.